All right, welcome. Uh, I am Coach Brian Christensen here at Quincy University. I uh, am the new swimming coach. I was hired about two months ago um, to start the program here at Quincy, and we're doing a virtual tour today for anybody um, you know who can't make it to campus for whatever reason. Now we have a handful of international students and other folks across the country that, you know, that might have trouble getting down here. Um, my apologies to anybody who tried to go on the live tour this morning. Um, from what I heard, some folks got kicked out. We might have had some um, connection issues with my phone or something. But anyway, here is um, the recording for uh, for anybody. We're basically going to do, uh, do the tour again. So um, I'm actually going to start. This is probably where you, you would park, right? Like you would drive here. Um, so we're, you're really going to get the experience as if you were on campus. So um, we are on... Thanksgiving break right now here in the U.S., which means we're not going to see really too many other students or anything, but we'll, we'll walk around anyway and um, kind of get a good feel of the campus. So we're going to start in the athletic center and we're going to start in the pool because I think that's what most people want to see here. So, and then we'll kind of walk through the athletic center. We have um, it's almost kind of like our pool entrance. And then as we will walk across campus, we'll see our library, our Student Success Center, um, Francis Hall, which really is kind of the one-stop shop for just about everything. And then um, we won't really go into any dorms or locker rooms, because that's kind of more a private thing. But um, anyway, here is our pool. So this pool was built in the year 2000. Um, it is fairly standard. I say six lanes, 25 yards. Um, you can tell even though that we are a new program and we're pretty much ready to go, right? We've got flags, we've got lane lines, uh, relatively new blocks. Um, you can tell that it's still got that, that rough texture to get a good grip. Um, I think they got a good size on them too. So um, our timing system, is pretty much ready to roll um, up there. And then obviously, you know, I think one of, one of our, our best selling points, our hot tub here, um, which you know, I just I was talking to someone the other day about doing hot tub workouts and I don't necessarily plan on using this like during a workout, but I think it's gonna be a great like spot to relax, you know, after a, after a, tough, a tough practice. So. We get a, lot, a ton of natural light. I mean, there's basically no lights on in the pool right now. Um, a ton of natural light coming off Oak Street here, and then you can kind of see the rest of our athletic center pretty much opens up this way. Um, it's, it's a really cool design, it's a really unique design. Um, overlooking the pool uh, is our weight room. It's a general weight room. We'll see the uh, the varsity weight room when we when we get to it. Uh, we'll talk more about that. So. You know, the one cool thing about being uh, part of a new team is that, you know, the fastest at the end of the year gets a team record, which I might put right here. Um, we'll get some records on the board and, and kind of all that good stuff. So we also have um, our equipment room right there. So we will be able to store a lot of our, you know, gear, kickboards kind of things. Actually, we also have hooks um, on the wall there. And then our, our whiteboard, which will sure will surely will have a a lot of fun sets on there to come. If you follow our Instagram or our um, Twitter, we will post workouts every Wednesday. So I encourage you to do that. We will post a lot of things on those, just to kind of give a feel for the team. Because I know that obviously we have no one on campus right now, so we'll be in good shape with that. So this is, my, this is my 14th year coaching, and um, yeah, I've been posting some old workouts. I was actually looking up, it's a preview of tomorrow. I have workouts, I've written down everything I've ever done. Um, I'm gonna post something from like November 2011. It's gonna be a really special one for you. So this is our um, uh, basketball courts. We'll do a lot of basketball practice, volleyball practice in here. We have racquetball courts here. Um, I don't know why it's a thing. Every college needs to have a racquetball court. It's like, you know, number one library, number two racquetball courts. 
you know, you, you got to have that. So we have an indoor track kind of around this whole area. We also have um, some exercise equipment up there, treadmills, stationary bikes. We won't use that all that often, and we're getting all the aerobic cardio we need in the pool. But um, it's nice in case we have like, you know, someone can't get in the water for whatever reason. I remember I was coaching a guy who had like pink eye a couple years ago and couldn't swim. So it's nice to be able to flex um, some people in, into places like that. So down this hallway is um, again our locker rooms, which we won't really head into, we, and as well as our um, athletic training rooms. So. We'll have a, um, a trainer with us for every home meet, for sure. And then with, um, you know, swimming is admittedly low on the injury um, you know, uh, kind of priority, right? Like we usually lose out to, if trainers gotta go to a um, soccer game or a you know, lacrosse game or something over us and some of those impact sports. But, you know, to me, yeah, assuming it's it's we, we get more of that that long-term injury kind of stuff and so we try to be acutely aware of that going on so I'll head into the main arena which we might have something going on here I don't want to disturb someone's practice but you can check it out a little bit so oh, I know we have a basketball game actually in like like two hours so we must be in here but um this is gonna be pretty packed in a couple hours we've got our women's basketball game tonight so um yes yeah, so this pepsi arena here and it gets it gets raucous right it gets pretty loud it gets pretty bumping um it's it's a fun environment our, our women's volleyball team just did pretty well um in the glbc tournament and uh it was like pretty pretty packed in there it was like some wild stuff so um but yeah i'd say you know quincy is really all about the community you know if, if we're things to remember about our school you know we really want to live our values right and i think one of our biggest values is that sense of community and really knowing you know who our students are and and what you know their goals are and and really supporting them and, and a way to you know, hopefully make their make their goals come true. So um, we're gonna head into our weight room. Um, like I said, this is our, our general weight room, so we'll have a, a varsity weight room that you'll see a little bit later. But you can kind of see um, you know, some folks here. So we have a lot of machines, which is nice for um, you know, more guiding kind of things. We have uh, overlooking the pool there. So this is a nice spot if anybody has any like um you know schedule conflicts or anything that can't go into our normal lifting time you know and they have everything that you need in there right they got squat racks they got like a bench um and also for some of our more injured folks that might need a little bit of help with you know some of the guided machines um some of the cable machines in there um you'll see when we get there but you know we'll we'll base our lifting more on you know, free weights and, and um, you know, Olympic weights, uh, clean, deadlift, bench and squat, and then you'll do a lot of auxiliary lifts in addition to that. Um, a lot of overhead, a lot of like shoulder strengthening, a lot of scapula training, a lot of rehab, a lot of what I call prehab, making sure that we never get to a point where we are, you know, our shoulders are completely busted up, and then we'll do a ton of legs. You know, I want to be really explosive off the box and, you know, off the walls and all that kind of stuff, so. But that, that's, that can be a nice, um, you know, spot for, for folks that need to just lift on their own. I mean, that weight is open all the time. So, our athletic center here. Um, we'll start walking around campus. So, campus is, um, you know, I would say relatively small, relatively easy to navigate. We have this as our main campus, and then also a north campus. It's a flu few blocks up the road um, there are a handful of academic buildings in the north campus as well as our football stadium baseball stadium up there uh, there's a shuttle that will run about every 15 minutes 
up there, but it's really, um, it's about a 20 minute walk. I've actually walked that a handful of times walking to football games and stuff. So, um, it's really not bad at all, but I understand you might be running late for class or something. So, um, we are pretty much right on the edge of fall, as you can see. Um, I mean, the edge of, uh, <laughs> we're kind of losing fall, um, we're getting to be late November around here. No snow yet. We've had a little bit of frost. Um, I know folks like to know the weather. We are, you know, Western Illinois. We don't quite get like uh, Chicago snow in here or anything. So, um, just for a second, look at Francis Hall, which is, I mean, it's pretty much your one stop shop for everything on campus. That's going to be a mission, essential aid in there. Um, but a lot of your classes as well. I mean, pretty much the, the first level is all administration, uh, administrative, and then the other levels up there, which we'll kind of see some more of the classrooms. Um, we'll, uh, you'll mostly, most of your life will be in there. So um, I think the library is closed for um, Thanksgiving right now. Let's see if it's open down here. Actually, it's nice having a key. Um, <laughs> you made it in. That's right. No, I'm good. Um, so this is our uh, our student success center. I'm gonna mask up here. Um, it's funny. I was here earlier. They were decorating. I guess they're pretty much done decorating. I'm getting ready for the holidays. Um, Hey, I, I don't know if you remember me from a while. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm is this tour number two? Yeah, I'm basically doing another one. Okay. Do you want to say again everything you said this morning? <laughs> <laughs> I can. Hi, my name's Donna Holtmeyer. I am the Director of Student Success, and so part of my responsibility is to help um, new students get acclimated to Quincy University. So I work down here in the Success Center, and we have lots of support for you here academically. We offer tutoring, we offer supplemental instruction, we offer individual one-on-one -on -one conversations about um, organizing your time, handling your stress, all of those sort of things. So um, your success coach will be your person who will help you adjust to Quincy and make sure that you have a great experience while you're here. Yay. Great. I think, you know, Quincy, to me, it's all about, you know, that community and, and really making sure our kids have success. And I think we're small enough to really yes. get to know our, our yes. people. Yes, everybody's a and name here and we yeah. want to know you and your story so we can um, be a part of your success while you're here Absolutely. at Quincy. Well, so, thank you so much. You're for, welcome. For, for you're welcome. Enjoy today. the tour yeah, we'll, and you'll we'll meet walk Kristen. Around. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all you all decorating. You were like half decorated earlier. Yeah, we're getting there. Got it. Thank you. So, yeah, we'll, we'll walk around a little bit here. Um, I really frosted the window. So, so we have a lot of like study areas. You can see folks can write on the walls and do things. So I'm going to study about kidneys and cranial nerves in here. Um, so, and we basically have a whole staff of people. Um, you can see some of the offices here. But basically ready and willing to help you. Um, so our leadership team, student development team here, um, really, again, you know, kind of like we just said, it, it's it's more than just words, you know, it's people that really want to to help you here. So we have some more study rooms. Um, this is our quest center, which um, helps folks find uh, both like service projects which is a big part of our life, as well as internships, um, part-time jobs. You can kind of see some of our, our job board here, which, um, you know, Quincy is a, a great place that, that draws really from across the region. Um, you can kind of see some of our, our placements, you know, that we've had with a, with a handful of companies. Um, you know, we can get people into, you know, both Chicago, um, St. Louis is actually a little bit closer. And we've got people down there as well, so there's a lot of programs it's a good board to check out here so um, we've got more kind of study areas our house system 
which is really cool. Um, it's like straight up Harry Potter, <laughs> um, which is a fun thing to replace to a house right away. Actually, look at these like decorations. It's fun. Is this is that our because our that's our present as Santa Claus here, but you know, getting into the, into the spirit. So. So we'll head out and um, head into Francis Hall. Like I said, I think the library is closed probably for the, the break. No one else is here. When I'm back, um, I was planning to have another tour in December over Instagram. Um, pop on to that and we'll, we'll get in the library if um, yeah, you, you had a, a big interest in seeing that. But, you know, I always kind of say my library has has books, it even has stacks. Uh, it has a computer lab, um, and like everything at Quincy, it has a lot of people that are just willing to help you out, which is the most important thing. Um, and I know that from experience as well. I went in there. Um, I needed to use one of the computers. Someone helped me like set up. Um, with the printer and all that kind of good stuff and it was uh super helpful that's just kind of what quince is all about so we are headed into francis hall right now like i said um the first floor is pretty much administrative i don't think there's really anybody in here i might risk a uh a demasking um so the second floor is where we have a lot of our um, classrooms. Well, second, third, fourth floor. But I'm gonna go through some of our um, business classrooms in the Oakley School of Business, and then um, some of our labs. So here is a pretty typical classroom. Um, we have a really good professor to student ratio. Uh, it's 14 to one, so um, you can see, you know, our smart board and and all that kind of good stuff there. So um, you can tell everyone's kind of ready to start their Thanksgiving holiday. Um, it's a good room. So here's another um, classroom. I mean, pretty similar. Like I said, I'd, I'd say this is this is pretty typical you're going to see here at Quincy. So the way this building is set up, um, the wings have like a lot of the classrooms, a lot of the professors are um, here in the middle. So it, it's just a very unique college experience. You know, I remember when I was in college, you know, I'd be running late in between classes. I'd be like you know, trying to run across campus in the snow and trying to find something. But, you know, Quincy, it really is a, it's a nice spot. So here's our Oakley School of Business. I know we have um, a lot of folks interested in business. So I right across from um, our chapel, which we'll talk about the uh, our Franciscan heritage. Quincy was founded in 1860 by Franciscan friars. Um, I'll tell you, folks always ask me, like, do you have to be Catholic to go to Quincy? And no, uh, you don't. I am not Catholic. I am not religious, really, at all. Um, I mean, I can tell you that uh, you know, I've never felt any kind of, like, pressure or anything. But, um, you know, to me, Franciscans are all about you know, having that service and, and humility and, and selflessness, which, you know, are ideals that I personally do want to live by. And um, not only that, I think make for a pretty great team of, of helpful um humble and selfless individuals. I think that's kind of the, the team that everyone would want to be a part of. So to me, having that kind of heritage baked in to our school is, is a really great thing. So we have some student lounges over here. This is our business analytics lab. Uh, you can see they are redoing it <laughs> after the break. Um, you can see we're, we're rewiring kind of everything and uh, getting new computers in here, which uh, is gonna be really good um because this was a pretty solid lab you know before this and um it's gonna be even better so across the hall robotics and vr lab um this is our cyber 
You can see our, our Quincy Center for cybersecurity there. Um, and we have our cybersecurity lab up right here. There were students in it earlier. Looks like it's clear now. So, um, yeah, this is our cybersecurity lab, which is a just a really unique major. You know, it's amazing that Quincy could have such specialized majors in business analytics and cybersecurity and, and aviation for such a um, small school. You know, Quincy is a school of about a thousand people, and um, I just think you get such a such a bargain here um, that you can have an experience that's like a, a small liberal arts, um, almost like a division three focused academic experience, but with what well, I think some, some really high quality academics. Presence office is down there. IT department is over here. Office of Graduate Studies right here. I told you, this is all you need, so. Especially, you know, athletically, um, we're in the GLVC, which I think is the top D2 conference in the country. Um, the CSCAA just came up with the top 25 rankings, and on the men's side, six out of the top 25 teams are GLVC teams, and five out of the top 25 women. So um, our work is cut out for us for sure. You know, I think the conference is legit, and, you know, you're still getting such a high... Um, athletic experience and such a high academic experience that that is so focused and so specialized into like you know exactly what you want to study and your professors are just going to know you and be so invested in your success that um, it's really just an incredible place so I'm going to check out if uh, so this is our, our, our varsity weight room I say it is usually full of students, but we might um, do pretty well here. So, all right. So we'll spend some time talking about lifting in here. So um, we have lots of racks. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, we'll we'll base around a lot of um, squat, bench press, um, cleans, and deadlift. We have more free weight section over here. We have. Um, you know, some balls, med, med balls, exercise balls, kettlebells, uh, a lot of things. You know, things that, you know, I would like to invest in in my time here is a lot more bands. Um, I want us to do a lot more mobility work with um, swimmers. I think that'll either be in here or might maybe just in the pool. Um, again, we'll do a lot of recovery work and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but yeah, so I, yeah, I'm a certified lifting coach myself, which is exciting. I'll be able to design our lifts here, which, you know, I, I mean, I've worked with some some really great strength coaches uh, when I was at Frostburg State University, and really almost at every every college I've worked at, has had some really great strength coaches. But I will also admit that I spent usually spend half the year convincing our strength coaches that we are not a bunch of football players. Um, so I'm excited that you're, you're going to have, like. Uh, you know, someone who went through all this designing your lifts um, someone who knew what it was like to lift and swim, someone who still lifts <laughs> and um, still competes as a master swimmer and someone that, that is really going to design lifts that will help you and you know, I mean I'm frankly confident in my experience to, to design lifts in the right way for our sport and I think we're going to be really, really great um Possibly better than we ever have. Are we? I mean, me <laughs> and teams that, that I've led. Um, so we're, we're going to be in a really good spot with that kind of stuff. So, so here is um, one dorm we have. This is more of an upperclassman dorm. You can see uh, the bottom floor is actually um, our security office, and. Um, you know, it, it connects to um, chapel that we passed and uh, the rest of Francis Hall. So if you do live in that dorm, you'll basically never go outside. <laughs> um, except when you go to some practice. And uh, it's actually really close to the, uh, the weight room here. I think a lot of football players live there right now. But, um, you know, to be honest, you, you don't think of swimming and lifting that much in conjunction. But I think you should, you know, quite frankly. And... 
you know, I want us to be a lifting team. Uh, I think, you know, water is an inherently resistive medium that we've thrown ourselves into. And, uh, you know, we get a little bit of resistance training with every stroke that we do. And I just want to really emphasize that um, and make sure that we are, we are getting strong and, and making the gains we need to do. So this is Paddle Hall. It is more uh, sweet style. Uh, we'll see, you know, some of the freshman dorms in a little bit. But um, this is, again, more of an upperclassman dorm. It is more, like, sweet style housing. So it's like, it's a great, great sunset over the St. Peter's uh, Church here. But um, it is more... Um, like two or three people in a suite so if you want to uh, cook your own food and kind of get a little you know save a few bucks on the meal plan it can be a nice choice for you but again we, we don't really put freshmen in there um, freshmen don't have a ton of choice of dorms you're basically living in our freshman dorm and then it really opens up so we also have some some built-in concrete cornhole so um, it's kind of a cool cool thing here in this little patio lounge area if you want to check it out um not much of the general student body will live off campus but a good amount of athletes will so um you know the cool opportunity for you coming on is that like when you get to your sophomore junior year you can kind of find a house find some place you want to live with you know, some of your people and you know, find a spot in town and uh, and do it up, you know? So, let me just kind of get a good shot of our, our campus here. It's amazing the sun's setting. It's only like 4 o'clock. But, uh, I guess that's winter, right? Um, so, this is our dining hall. And so, I will... I, I, one thing I, I always want you to know, I'll, I'm, I'll be a very honest coach, right? I don't, I don't believe in, you know, yanking your chain the wrong way because I, I think, you know, the truth is going to come out sooner or later. And, you know, if you don't tell the truth now, it's going to, we're, we're just going to have more issues down the road. So um, people always ask me what the food is like. And, you know, of course I would say, I would never say it's bad, unedible kind of stuff so I have eaten here twice one time it was legit good we had like um, barbecue like pork and mac and cheese and some you know nice potatoes and uh, it was I was like I got like seconds it was like legit I was like this is sweet um, I ate here another time uh, broccoli was kind of stale rice was kind of undercooked um, it was kind of ah, not that great so I think you know as is most campus foods, because this might be a big spoiler, there's only like two or three um, companies that do college food. I mean, you're pretty much getting the same food everywhere. Um, but I, I, I think on certain days, th this food will hit, it'll hit hard. So um, we have a handful of options. We have you know the kitchen, which is kind of like the main course of whatever the day is. Uh, we have made to order, like sandwich station, um, we have like a pizza station pretty much all the time. We have like a grab and go area here. Um, and then we have like a, a breakfast nook with like a waffle maker and, um, you know, eggs and, and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, also like a salad station that that's pretty much always there. So, um, yeah, you know, I know it's a big part of your life. I, I always say if you're I have trouble with the food, then, um, you know, do something about it. Like, uh, you live off campus, you reduce your meal plan. Um, it's kind of nice that, uh, you know, you, you can get, like, if you just want to eat there seven times a week or something, um, that's really easy to do. And then you can, like, cook your own food, either in, like, a, a suite, which has, like, a full kitchen or off campus somewhere. So um, these are the uh, football lacrosse offices. Um, this is a piano. This is our bookstore. So, one thing that's really great, and also I guess we have like a little student lounge here. Um, well, you know, one thing that's really great is that everything's included in that in that tuition um, sticker price here at Quincy. So, 
Tuition is about 31,000. Room board is about another 11,000. Um, but that 31 pretty much includes like uh, laundry. Laundry is free here. You know, you're never like hunting down quarters. I mean, I spend so much time in college trying to scrape together like 10 quarters every week. Um, it also includes your books, which is pretty amazing. You know, you're not going to come here and get like a ton of hidden fees and forget that, you know, dropping a few grand and then suddenly you got like another thousand dollars worth of books to buy. Um, Quincy's just not about that. So you basically you'll show up on day one and they'll just like hand you your books and, and that'll be that. So um, it's pretty much the edge of campus. You can see a little bit of the town. So I tell you, my wife and I, we've lived here for about two months. I mean, it is such a welcoming place. Um, we've, we're trying to do, you know, trying to meet people. We've been involved in, um, you know, there's like a big expo uh, with like some small businesses this past weekend, which is really cool. Um, we're going to like a town-wide like Christmas lighting event in a few weeks. Um, Quincy, the town is about 40,000 people. So... It's definitely not the big urban conglomerate or anything, but, you know, people always ask me, you know, what is there to do in town and stuff, and, you know, first of all, um, see, these are some of the dorms, no dorms, it's more an upperclassman dorm, and the freshman dorms are coming up, but, um, yeah, it was, well, first of all, when you're in college, the reality is you're not gonna have too much to do besides swimming and studying and, and that's going to take a lot of time. So in your downtime, you might just want to like relax for a second, you know, watch a show or hang out with friends and stuff. But um, there is uh, quite a bit to do if, if you, you know, if you want to find it. Um, we have a pretty strong network of, of trails. Um, actually doing some work clearing out some of those trails. You can see these some of our, our freshman dorms, kind of our freshman quad here. Uh, so that's nearby. We, we're right, so we're right on the Mississippi River. Um, my wife and I actually went to um, our, our river walk uh, this past weekend. It, you know, there's some nice like restaurant spots down there. We had like a dinner um, down there, which was which was really actually pretty good. Um, and then you know, there's like a park down there. There's like a skate park and stuff. So. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do, I think, when you, if, if you're willing. You know, I think people who say they're bored are, are folks that, um, yeah, never really put themselves out there. You know, there's always something to do if you, uh, if you want to find something. So, um, that's pretty much it. So, I think the last thing I'll leave you is this nice pathway, which kind of has all of our, um, clubs on it. I think swimming... Men's and women's swimming will be added to this pathway uh, very shortly, and you will be um, here to design uh, whatever you want to do. You know, like like uh, we got to compete with bowling here and um, and all that good stuff. So um, that's camps in the nutshell, right? So what I would like to to do with with all of you, um, I know we have some international people that may not be able to visit. But, you know, if you are local or, um, you know, if, if you can make a time, I'd love to get you on campus personally. Um, if you want to schedule a virtual visit with me, um, that's a little bit more personal, kind of answering your questions and stuff. I'd love to do that. Uh, please reach out and we can make that happen. Um, but on that, you know, apply. We're, we're, we are looking to bring on probably eight or nine on both sides, men and women, um, that first year to be our, our first class. Um, the kind of people I'm looking for, first of all, you know, I think if we, if we want to break it down a little bit, um, three things to remember about Quincy. You know, number one, we are a brand new team. So what do we need to be a brand new team? Well, we need some leaders. We need people that are going to be mature, people that are going to be maybe a little bit bolder than the average student, folks that really want to go out on a limb here and, um, 
and do something I think is going to be pretty special. Um, I, saw, I love these, these, these are like giant chairs here. Um, they're sweet. So, part of a new team. Um, we have folks who want to work hard, right? Work hard and be great teammates. It doesn't matter how fast you are. If you work your butt off, you're going to gain the respect of everybody on your team. Um, if you can be a great, respectful teammate, then I think you're going to have good experience. Everyone around you is going to have good experience. I'm looking for folks that, that really want to put the team above themselves. You know, swimming is such an individual sport. We need to learn to set our egos aside and to really, like, encourage and, and help each other. And again, you know, I think that the team comes first. And, you know, you see that at every level of sport. Um, you know, even pro athletes who, whose egos get out of control. And to me, you know, that's what Quincy is all about, right? We're, we're a humble college, right? We're, we're founded by Franciscans. We're, we're not about the glitz and glamour. We're about getting our work done and 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 serving others. So number two, you know, we're, that, that Franciscan ideology, you know, I think is strong. Um, and I think it's something that, that's really special here. And honestly, is going to make a team that people want to want to be a part of. Um, and then, you know, last thing is this our size, right? We're a thousand students. Um, we are a tiny school. Believe it or not, I went to a school smaller than Quincy. Um, I'll tell you exactly what it's going to be like. You're going to get to know everybody by name. You're going to know your professors on down the, on down the line. They are going to remember you. They're going to remember you when there, it comes time to, to writing recommendations and references and, and all that kind of good stuff. They're going to know you when you need to miss class for practice or, well, not, not for practice, sorry, miss class for a meet or something. Um, it, it's just a really good environment. And like I said, it's that sense of community. It's, it's a sense of feeling like you belong to something um, and the sense that you are really making a difference with something, right? You're not just kind of another, another name. You are who you are. And that's what we are, we are all about. So, um, Again, I, I hope that Quincy can be a great home to you. Um, it's already been a great home to me and my wife who have been here. And, um, you know, we are kind of coming up back on the Athletic Center. And um, with that, uh, go Hawks.